Hello, 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 and welcome to Carlock Does Some Science. Today we're doing iron farms. So, first thing we need to do to make an iron farm is some villagers. We need 10 villagers for the iron farm. So I have two here that obviously I spawned in, but normally you would run off somewhere else in the world, find a couple and bring them back here one way or another. And I've just done, put them in boats because they're the, probably the easiest way of transporting them. So first thing I will do is make a little pen. Drive them in. Hope I didn't make the pen too small so when I break the boats they won't jump out, but we'll see. Right, so there are villagers. Let's get them out of the boats. Oops, without killing them. So two villagers. I now need some doors so I can breed them up. I need 10. I need them to have eight babies. So I need 30 doors. Well, if I can count, that should be 30 doors. One, two, three, four, five this way. Now I need some blocks to validate my doors. So we should have 30 valid doors and two villagers. So if we feed these two, they should breed up. Give them a bit of food, they should pick it up, share it between them, and in a moment, hopefully, start breeding. We'll see how it goes while I'm building the rest of the stuff. It may be that I'll cheat a few in just to save waiting around. Why don't you throw the food over there? That's better. Right, okay. Iron farms. So the basic iron farm requires 21 doors and 10 villagers. So the villagers will be breeding up, hopefully there. Once they've finished, I can remove all these doors and then build the doors in the iron farm. I'll build the iron farm over here. And firstly, I'll go through some of the basics and some of the science behind iron farms. The iron golem spawning area is basically a 16 by 6, 16 by 16 by 6 cube centered around the center point of the village. And once it's all up and running, the spawn chance for an iron golem is basically 1 in 7,000 in every game tick which basically means that you'll get an average of one golem every six minutes each golem will drop three to five ingots of iron and zero to two poppies which basically means on average you will get four iron ingots and one poppy every six minutes that is on the assumption that you have a enough spawning spots to make it a hundred percent probability because it re-attempts to find a spawn valid spawn spot 10 times then we have to look at the fail chance rather than the success chance in order to work out the percentages so here on this slide we show the spawn area and the one platform and two platform chances. We won't go through all the maths, but basically one platform is a 70% chance that even though the game wanted to spawn a golem, it couldn't find a valid spot and therefore you won't get a golem. On two platforms, it's only a 2% fail chance. So two platforms, 98% chance of spawning or finding a valid spawn spot so two platforms is better than one and almost perfect 
doors, doors, doors. So we need doors for our iron farm to make a village and the center of the village is based around the positioning of the doors. So here's a few slides. These are all based around the zero, zero coordinates of the world to show how it can alter depending on which part of the world you're in. So whether you're in the sort of minus minus quarter of the world or plus plus coordinates part of the world, they may be in a different position. So first of all, we see very small villages with just four doors and a red dot showing you where the center of the village is. Because of the numbering and the way it works, mostly, or in this case, they are all in the northwest corner of the block, not in the center of the block as you may expect. The second one shows when we have some slightly larger villages with eight doors in each. And as you see, the red dot is in quite different positions depending on which quarter of the world you are in. This is sort of part of the reason why I recommend having a three by three hole in the center of the farm rather than two by two. So the next one is showing round a three by three. And here I've, I've got a missing door on each side, but it wouldn't make any difference if that was there or not. So here they always show in the same position wherever you are in the world, which makes it consistent. Time to actually start to build the farm now. So I'm going to just start at this level and build up from here. The actual a Y level itself doesn't matter unless you want to stack them on top of each other going from bedrock to sky limit. If you have them on top of each other they need to be basically um, a minimum of 65 blocks between the door levels on the farm and it is possible to fit four farms in between bedrock and build limit which normally means the bottom one needs to start down underground normally so the simple way of doing it is we'll stick four blocks going up this will be the chute where the columns fall down it'll put chest down here and then connect hoppers up to that chest. So they all feed to the same place, right into the chest. Right, so we will also be putting lava in here. We will put some signs in here. Nine of them. Like that, which means we can still walk in here and we'll put dropping lava in up here. If I actually put the glass in the right place, it might help. And then we will start to build the platforms out from here. So we want these to be eight blocks. So we come out eight blocks and then build it out and then fill this all in so it's one solid platform. I have now built the first lower platform and also marked out where this is in the north direction 
So as we know from the previous slide and the way I'm going to set the doors out, the center of the village will be this block here. So we use this to go eight that way, eight, eight that way, eight that way, and eight whichever way that way. Which as you can see means that our spawning pad or spawning area is completely inside our spawning pad and particularly on these north and west because a golem is quite large it needs four blocks to spawn so half of the golem will actually sometimes spawn outside of this area because it will spawn on this spot just there so we need this extra space here so in order to get every spawnable space in the a farm spawnable we need that extra block out anyway which conveniently gives us eight blocks out from this three by three hole which means it's easy to count and also when we place water here to push it into the middle eight is how far water travels so that all works out nicely now i need to build some walls around the outside i've now got the walls up and the next platform to show you the walls we get from the middle point and we take the walls all the way up then the next three on either side of that we go up two i've done it with glass here so we can see through you can use any block really glass is probably best then we need some solid blocks where we're going to put doors so we'll have three doors there three doors there and the villagers will go in a pod out there and same on all four sides so next platform up we go one two three four and then put the next platform because iron golems need two by two by four height to spawn in even though they're not that tall you could put a half slab spawning surface here because golems can spawn inside as well as on top of top half slabs that would still count as four high but i'm going solid blocks to the one above works just as well and then we come up one higher than the edge and two higher in the corner if you were uh, solid blocks here you'd want to put another solid block on top and then half slabs or something on the top to prevent other mobs spawning Then on the outside, we put a little two by three glass platform. Panes here, we'll fill that in with more panes when the villagers are in and a little lid here. Right, the main reason for doing all this glass is that golems cannot spawn on top of glass. It's possible for them to spawn in it, but not on top of it. So in case for some reason our village center gets pushed off, we don't want lion golem spawning over here, for example, which would then just stand here or wander around a bit, but prevent any more golem spawning. So one of the sort of common problems people have with iron farm sometimes is you have a little wall here, then you have sort of half slabs, but because there's a solid block here, if the center of the village gets pushed out for whatever reason, then you could get a golem spawning on the top of that block inside the half slab, which will prevent the farm working. So glass is one way of going to prevent that ever from happening. As you can see, they'll then drop all the way through down here once we get the water streams in. So I'll quickly put the water streams in. Right, in order to do this, it's basically source blocks all the way along the edges but not in the corners. To deal with the corner, when we get here, we'll want to put water source against this block. If you're worried about it, because if you get it wrong, everything will turn into source blocks. You can put three blocks in the corner, place your water source, and then remove the blocks afterwards. Right. 
let's quickly remove that for the moment. The way I always do it is we want from two in to go there. If you're doing it in survival, you then leave a block and put one there. Then we get a water source so I can fill up from this, my empty bucket from here and then just copy it across. But the corners are the most important bit, leave two. Then we'll just go all the way across. So, and sometimes it's easier just to put the two out from the corners in first to just check you don't get them wrong. Obviously I can fly, so it makes it easier. Um, depth Strider boots make this a lot easier if you're in creative. That's most of it done, and then we just need to get the corner ones in. Have to be careful on the corner ones, like I said, because if you place it too low accidentally, this whole thing will become source blocks in here. So we all have it flying in the middle, so even if I spawn in the very corner, I'll get pushed down, 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 down. So we need to do the same thing up here, two out. And let's show you, let's do this in this corner, show you how it's done. in like a so and then here you can do this and then remove them afterwards if you wish right now time to move some villagers right villagers are all over here I've built a water elevator which is start up two from the bottom where we have our first water and we have Sign water, sign water all the way up to however far we want to go. Then they will come out here. They'll sort of get stuck in this block because uh, nothing can move them through there. And then push them into here. Obviously, it doesn't actually matter how many you have around each side of the farm. But you need at least one on each side to absolutely make sure you've got the doors validated but the way I tend to do it is I put three on one side three opposite and two and two but it doesn't actually matter so here you see where we had the doors and the villagers We've obviously got ten villagers because we had enough to spawn on our golem neatly in the same spot as the villagers very pretty I have to get rid of him so, just because it'll get in the way, so I will remove these doors now. I've got my villagers bred up. And then we'll have to actually wait 30 or 60 seconds before the village will definitely be deleted and when we create a new one, but it'll take that long to move the villagers anyway. Right, the iron golem's been retired off, so I need to just make a little bit of space in here. Make sure it's all safe still. I need to move a couple of villagers over here to be able to push through the gate. Often water is necessary. It depends, sometimes they'll move, sometimes they won't. If I place down water here, then those should be pushed that way. And I can barge into those two, push them through. Oh, that's good. One more's got through because I actually put three in one side. Quickly shut my gate. Remove the water. Got wet. I don't want him there. Right, okay. Let's 
I want to go through the gate after them, so I'll close the gate so I'm safe. Then I will swim up the water elevator, see what villages I've got up here. So I've got one, two, three. He'll now be pushed through to the end. Grab some panes and place them down like that. So there we have three villagers neatly in here. Let's quickly remove that source and then in order to get to other pods we would just carry on making another water shoot around. Something like this. Put a few blocks there. Put a lid on it. Put some torches on. And then from this point here, you came back your eight block. You put your water down. So that when you get the villagers this far, they'll actually get pushed right into that pod. So I'm not going to go and move them all. Because it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So once you get one along here, you will then get pushed in. And then we block them off. Normally the panes allow you to put them straight down. Occasionally you might get a villager that's partly stuck in a pane and you end up having to uh, use a piston to push one in. But most of the time it seems to work fine with panes. Then obviously we we'll carry this around to do the last side. And go the other way for the other one. So I'll just tidy this up. Okay, right, the villagers have all been tidied up now, or where they were, and all in their pods, so I have three in this pod, two in this one, three in this one, two in that one, which gives a total of ten. So now we just need to put our lava in, so we'll need two buckets of lava. One can go in that corner, one can go in that corner, which will spread to the whole area. So when a golem drops here, he will have his head stuck up there. Let's just block it in that. Obviously, we can leave this open or not, it's up to us. I have some command blocks here that will just do some counting for me, and that's it. This is farm number six. So, all we need now is to place the doors. So now we have 21, uh, 24 doors and 10 villages. We need minimum of 21 doors and 10 villages to be an iron farm. The reason for 24 doors are so I can space them evenly and put the center of the farm where we want it. So there we have it. We have the fully operational iron farm using a single village. Quickly fly around the outside so you can see it all. And golems will spawn every six minutes or so. And the drops will go down here into the chest. Obviously you can extend the storage as far as you like. And a quick view from the top. 
if you liked this video please remember to leave a like and if you really liked it please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching goodbye